my main goal of this video really today is to sit down and really discuss with you all about uh, belly fat, body fat, how do you lose it overall, how do you lose it in general. My expectations going into workouts with Jaleel was to lose pounds. Um, I was over 200 and I wanted to get back to like the 160 area, so genuinely just to lose about. Pull the trigger, don't wait another second. Go ahead and do it now, because if you wait any longer, you, you know, you're just delaying your own. What's going on YouTube? Uh, for those who don't know, my name is Jalil. I'm a fitness trainer, content creator. Um, my main goal of this video really today is to sit down and really discuss with you all about uh, belly fat, body fat, how do you lose it overall, how do you lose it in general. Um, thankfully last year I was able to pass over 100k uh, followers on Instagram which was one of my main goals for a while now. Now over the last couple of months I've been trying to expand myself over to YouTube just to continue to capture a bigger audience so I can continue to educate and help people transform their lives. Um, what inspired me today to go in this conversation about losing belly and body fat is because I get a lot of DMs and questions about people just simply asking, um, you know, how do I lose belly fat? How are you able to get your clients to start like this but end up like this, all right? And my whole goal of this really just to continue to be transparent with you all. Um, I'm not attempting to sell you anything. I'm not attempting to get you to do something that you don't want to do, but to really just educate. Uh, because I know a lot of times out there people are motivated, people are driven, people are dedicated, but they just don't know, uh, they just don't have the information in order to make that change themselves. So I feel as it is my job to really educate you on that. So stay and watch the end of this video uh, because you will be getting a lot of value within this video. So I did want to start this video off by giving you all two um, testimonies about clients who are able to transform their lives. Um, the first one, her name is Lauren right here. Um, so Lauren's whole goal, I had went to high school with her um, a while back. Um, she was trying to get ready for the military, you know, in the military, you know, you have to be a certain body fat percentage, you have to um, pass certain tests in order to, I guess, make it into the military, right? So she came with me with a specific goal in mind, which was to lose her body fat percentage. Um, she also wanted to build her endurance up, but she also wanted to have strength as well. Um, when working with Lauren, you know, she was always, you know, motivated, you know, dedicated. Um, she asked questions, and I think that's a big thing. People will never be afraid to ask questions. Um, she really was able to really pick my brain, and not only um, was she doing good inside of the gym, but also applied it to her own life outside of the gym when she wasn't with me. And honestly, I think that was key to her big transformation as well. Um, so when starting, um, this was not an overnight process. Um, she didn't just, you know, wake up and then a month later, you know, she was able to get from this to that. That's not the reality of it. It took about a year. Um, but as you see her transformation right there, you know, she accomplished a lot within that year. Um, so I'm just going to give you a brief, you know, um, story about, you know, how she was able to transform. Um, when Laura first came in or when she reached out to me, um, I personally didn't think too much of it. I didn't think she was... When Lauren came to me, she had a specific one in mind. What I always ask people before they get advice is why? Like, what's your reason for doing this? Um, this is important because whatever that reason is, that's honestly gonna motivate you to keep going. Even on the days where uh, you wake up, you don't feel like training, you don't feel like eating right, or even if you look a month from now and you don't feel like you're making as much progress, knowing your why or knowing why you wanna get to that point is always gonna help you um, continue to motivate yourself to keep on going. So when I asked her, I was like, you know, I know you want to go to the military, but why is it so important to you? Why is cutting your body fat down so important to you? Why is uh, being able to accomplish your goal so important to you? And she bri she briefly just told me a story about how, um, I guess she was at a friend's house and then her, her friend's father was making a joke about her weight and she knew from that moment that, you know, she had to make a change. You know, how that's not the life she wanted to live, how she didn't want people to look at her as such. Um, when hearing that, I was like, you know, that's a good reason, not just, I know there's a lot of people out there going through the same things, you know, they're they're not in the body that they want and they know their potential, they know that something has to change. Um, and all I have to say to you is, the earlier you start, the better it's going to be, alright? The longer you wait, the harder it's going to get, alright? So I motivate you all, so I encourage everybody to start working on your transformation, your dream body as soon as possible. Um, you'll always be busy, you know, you'll always feel like you're running out of time, um, you'll always feel like you have tomorrow, but in reality, the chances are um, you don't always have tomorrow. You you won't always, or that free time may never come. You never know. So you really just have to uh, make time for what you want. And I think it's very important that you all, or that we all continue to take care of our health, you know, day by day. Um, 
But yes, that's just a little brief story of uh, Lauren. Um, over the first couple of months, um, she was able to make progress. Um, as she was making her progress, um, there became a point in time where she felt like she knew all the information, so she was good enough to do it on her own. So she stopped working with me. Um, after she stopped working with me, she was able to apply it on her own, and she was able to still make progress. Um, what happened was um, she had reached a plateau. So if you don't know, her plateau was really she hit a certain body weight and a, a body fat percentage, and she felt like she couldn't um, progress from there, right? So after the plateau, she reached back out to me, just asking, hey, you know, Jalo, I've been doing this thing on my own for a while now. I'm consistent. I've been eating right. I've been keeping up with nutrition, but I can't seem to lose this, you know, excess body fat. So I've lost a lot of body fat, but I can't seem to lose any more, right? So she came back in the gym. We reassessed her diet. We switched up her workout plans a little bit. We added a little more strength training and did some cardio at the end. And now she was able to get to where she wanted to be. Hi, I'm Laura Sean, and my expectations going into workouts with Jaleel was to lose pounds. Um, I was over 200 and I wanted to get back to like the 160 area. So genuinely just to lose about 50 pounds. Um, once I started working out with him, I realized that he trains specifically towards your body. So he caters to what you can do. So he sees like what you can do, what you can do, then makes the workouts and intensifies them as you go on. And it paid off. I, I was 220 and, and now I'm, I'm one, I'm one under 160. So I know for a fact, proof is in the books that he can get you what you need um for a while i was training with him but then i i, I decided that i i think i could do some of the stuff on my own and then i eventually realized the workouts weren't the same like he pushes me to a new level so i went back to him because i had a new goal which was to go to the army and so we strength trained for that and trying to get me ready to for basic training for that and um i would recommend him to anybody who's looking for a, a trainer only because he does not worry about the check. He does not worry about the money. He's specifically worried about you making sure you reach your goal. And he wants you to succeed. He wants you to be where you want to be in life. Anything you tell him as far as working out, goal-wise, he's going to get that done for you. And that's the biggest statement I can tell you. So you want someone who genuinely cares about you and genuinely wants to see you succeed, I'll go to Jaleel. Now, the second person that I'm going to bring up to you is William. Um, William has a little different story. He's a uh, truck driver. Um, as you know, for truck drivers, you know, you're sitting around all day driving on the road. Um, he had a specific goal in mind. He wanted to lose body fat, but he also wanted to become the best version of himself. He wanted to be healthier. He wanted to increase his energy levels. Um, he knew he was getting older too, so he didn't want to have, you know, risk a certain, um, he just wanted to protect his overall health and well-being. Um, so with William, so William actually accomplished his goals in 30 days, all right? And the way he was able to accomplish his goal in 30 days is because he was fully locked in. I mean, like, you can really tell someone's locked in when they ask you a lot of questions. Um, questions are key because we don't know it all. I even don't know it all. So I ask questions myself. But when William uh, first reached out to me, he really had a specific goal in mind. Um, like I said before, just the overall well-being. He wanted to lose his body fat percentage. He knew um, he could do it. All right? He had confidence that he could do it. He had confidence that I could help him. So he just trusted the process. Um, what we did kind of went on. I did the same thing. We looked at his diet. Um, and then we didn't just switch the diet around. We just enhanced it, right? So I was only introducing new foods to his life. I was more modifying what he already ate to fit his goals, all right? And I honestly think that's key. Um, you don't always have to pick up a new diet. Sometimes it's just a matter of you um, modifying what you already eat. So if you eat a lot of fried chicken, make it grill, stuff like that. So um, once talking to William, once we were able to come up with a workout plan, um, a nutrition schedule, he was able to accomplish his goals like that within 30 days. And now um, he's feeling great at where he's at right now. And um, this is a brief you know, picture of what he looks like. So that's William. All right, now, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. Um, those are just two testimonies, and the reason why I showed you those testimonies is just so you can know that um, it's achievable. If it's achievable for them, you can achieve it as well, all right? Pull the trigger, and don't wait another second. Go ahead and do it now, because if you wait any longer, you, you know, you're just delaying your own, your own success. You're delaying your own progress. And if the hardest step is is starting to anything, but especially, you know, fitness and health or whatever. But I don't know about anybody else, but, you know, tomorrow's not promised to none of us. You know what I mean? It's more than just a physical thing. It's helped me mentally, and you know what I mean? And emotionally, you know, it, it's up my self-esteem as far as, you know, how I feel about myself. It isn't necessarily for other people. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you some 
uh, top tips in terms of um, how to uh, transform your lives or things that you need to do starting today that'll help you become the best version of yourself and you know and get to that physique and appearance that you want. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna start by just being transparent, telling you the truth. Um, I know you all probably heard this a lot. If you haven't, I'm going to tell you. Um, everybody has abs. It's simply just the fat covering your abs. All right. Um, I have the abs. You have the abs. But um, it comes down to body fat percentage. What helps you reveal your abs? Working out and what you eat in the kitchen go hand in hand in helping you uh, make your abs appear visible. All right. So uh, first things first. Um, a lot of times people think that um, in order to you know flatten out your stomach to see your abs, you know you simply just do a lot of cardio. Um, that's not the truth. You're gonna be surprised um, what I tell you. But that's actually not the truth, and that's actually help making you take steps further back. All right. You all have to understand that um, extreme cardio doesn't make you lose body fat. All right. So yes, you're staying in that calorie deficit, which is good for body fat, but you also need to promote muscle growth because what happens is um, when you're doing extreme cardio. All right, and then when you finally eat, which is a little bit, so if you're eating a little bit at a time when you're doing extreme cardio, your body's gonna store that more as fat since it's trying to protect you, all right? So a lot of people think that, um, you know, they run for hours, you know, each and every day because they're trying to hurry up and um, lose body fat before their photo shoot, before their birthday, um, without eating, that's the wrong thing to do, all right? You wanna make sure you're eating um, your meals. Now, you don't ever wanna be afraid of food. All right, food is fuel, food is your friend. I and mean, you just need to figure out what to eat, all right? So food can either make or break you, but don't avoid it, all right? So what I mean by that, you will want a high protein diet. Um, a high protein diet, to know if you're getting enough protein, I like to use a general rule of thumb. Um, whatever your body weight is, that's how much protein you should be getting at least, all right, a day, all right? Now I know with some people, you know, you may not have an appetite in the morning, your body may uh, not take as much food just because it's not used to getting a lot of calories. Um, whatever the case may be, you need to train your body to start, you know, taking more food. It's not going to be easy at first, but you need to get on an eating schedule uh, because what this is going to do, this is going to promote muscle growth, which is what you want, or which is going to help you burn fat so you can see those abs, all right? Another thing that you have to do also is limit your snack intake. Now, I know a lot of us, I'm guilty of it, you know, we're snackers, um, but you have to make sure you're getting your meals. Um, a lot of times people promise they're getting in a calorie deficit, but Everyone swears they're in a caloric deficit, but they don't count all the snacks they're gonna eat. Um, so my biggest advice is eat actual meals and limit your snacks, all right? Those snacks add up. Those uh, bag of chips here and there, they all add up because it's a bag of chips, then you're still hungry. So what, you get cookies, and then you're still hungry, you feel like you haven't really eaten, so then you eat a meal. So all this stuff adds up. Although you ate one meal a day, all that stuff adds up, and now you're still over your... So I challenge you all just to be very mindful of what you're putting into your body, and instead of snacking, make sure you're getting your meals a day. Um, I personally recommend getting at least three meals a day, um, whether your goal is to gain weight or lose weight. Um, but three meals a day, I think it's perfect. You know, you want a good breakfast. Um, when I say good breakfast, you know, you want your protein. Um, so, for instance, my breakfast, I'll have like, um, I'll do eggs, I'll do oatmeal, and I'll do a piece of fruit. Um, if I'm waking up and I don't feel like I could eat a big breakfast, I'll probably get like a granola bar or something. But you want to make sure you're eating at least something in the morning, um, just to start off your day. All right? I'm not the biggest uh, person to believe in that you're supposed to uh, fast and wait until 1 p.m. to eat your meal. I know people do it for different reasons, but uh, me personally, I feel like everybody needs to wake up and you know eat something to start off the day because food is energy all right and we need energy to get us through the day number two when it comes to exercising the duration of your workouts does not matter all right so more about what you do within that time frame um you can have a 20 minute workout that's very effective more effective than the hour workout that you do it all depends on what you're doing within that um as you know on my youtube page i actually have a lot of follow along videos that are about 15 to 20 minutes that are very effective because you're consistently moving the whole time so that's what you want um, the benefits of this is that not only are you help, not only is it helping you stay in that caloric deficit because you're burning a lot of calories, but um, we're also promoting muscle growth because we're tearing that muscle as we're doing each movement. All right, so uh, if you check out my page, um, I have a lot of body weight movements you can do if you don't have access to weights. Um, if you like going to the gym, I have a lot of um, workouts that you can do with deadlifts. Um, I have a lot of at home ab pro. I have a lot of at home ab workouts. I have in the gym ab workouts. So everything you really know. Um, I recommend working out at least four times a week. Um, in your workouts, you don't have to work out the same body part. Um, you want to give your body time to recover. So, like, if you have a leg day one day, maybe if you have a leg day on Monday, maybe Tuesday is your upper body day. But you do want to give your body time to recover. And um, 
Letting certain muscle groups recover doesn't mean you can't train other muscle groups, all right? But recovery is key. Um, the best way to recover too is also getting your sleep, all right? So, it's, and that's gonna transition me to point three, your sleep, all right? We should all be getting about seven to eight hours of sleep a night, six hours very minimum, and that's not as good, all right? Um, and I say that because um, if you're not getting your sleep, then it's gonna be harder for you to achieve your goals. And I say that because your body needs the rest, all right? So sleep is actually one of the most important factors that a lot of people miss out on. Um, they eat right, they're training right, um, their diet is perfect, they have a whole schedule, but they're just not getting enough rest so their body can never fully recover. And that's one of the most important things that I wish I would've known earlier um, because my biggest thing that's, that has slowed me down when I felt like I was gaining weight was that I wasn't getting enough rest. And I realized that once I started getting more rest and incorporating more sleep um, into my routine, it was easier for me um, to recover. Um, I woke up feeling a lot better. I woke up feeling less bloated. I woke up with my ass feeling more visible. Um, but yeah, sleep is definitely key. Uh, number four, I'll say when starting off, you want to find an accountability partner, all right? You want to find somebody who either has the same goal as you, who's motivating to you. Um, your accountability partner could literally be anybody. Um, you don't even have to physically speak to your accountability partner. You could use uh, somebody you look up to on social media. You could, um, you know, use a friend or you could use whoever. So accountability partner in this reference means like just somebody to help you keep on track. Um, it's hard to do this on your own. It's hard to um, stay motivated, consistent on your own. Um, I'll give you a brief story about me. So, um, growing up, I was always really active, playing sports and everything. So, um, just staying fit wasn't as hard um, in my younger years just because I was always, you know, physically active. Um, but when I stopped playing uh, football in college, that's when I started to see small changes. Um, people didn't really see that as much, but I saw it more in myself. Um, I saw myself just gaining a lot of a lot more body fat just because I had lost my routine. I had lost that accountability. Um, I was no longer training with the team. I was no longer, uh, you know, getting workout sessions in with friends. I was no longer doing any of that stuff because I didn't really feel like there was more of a use for it since, you know, I was no longer uh, playing, right? So it was a bit discouraging at first when I figured out I was gaining, you know, um, a couple pounds of fat. You know, it was very discouraging because I knew that um, I knew where I once was, and then I was like, I just didn't like the feeling, right? I felt tired, um, I just felt bloated, I just didn't feel like myself. And I knew that if I didn't want my physique to continue to worsen, or I didn't want to um, change my physique to how I looked when I was playing football, then I knew something had to change. Um, so at first, I was really uneducated in terms of like what exactly I had to do. Um, but, you know, through research, through, you know, following influencers, to looking at their testimonies, to looking at YouTube videos like these, um, I was really able to become more knowledgeable. Um, I took classes, you know, I became uh, certified because I was really interested in how people were really able to transform their bodies and what's the science behind all this stuff. All right, so as researching that, I was able to get information. Um, I was able to track my progress through um, going to the gym with uh, friends, uh, stuff like that. So I found people who are also as dedicated as, as I was to really just become better in themselves and transform their body. And that really helped because the days I didn't feel like going to the gym, um, I had people to talk to, I had people in my ear, I had um, people to look at, and I had a target, I had a goal. I wanted to look like this, I wanted to look like that. And that really was, uh, helped me stay on track and uh, get to where I want to be. So, now if you're a person who's specifically struggling with workout programs, doing what to do when you're at the gym, or you just need that boost of motivation, or you need that encouragement, or you need somebody to... Um, check in with you. Um, I am offering a 30-day program, which I'll put the link below. Um, now, this isn't your typical 30-day program. Um, the program will send you alerts, so it's send you reminders to complete your workout. Um, it's all follow-along, so you do not have to search up the workouts. Um, the times are built into it, so you know exactly how much longer you have to go into the workout. And um, it's pretty much just a follow-along. So, um, if you're interested in that, if you're somebody who needs some you know, more encouragement, if you need, to, need help in terms of like what exercise would be good for you, um, then I recommend that you all check, you know, these programs out here. Um, I have three programs, one to help, you know, just lose general body fat. Um, I have one to help build glutes and legs, and then I have another one for general just body strengthening. So yes, if you're interested, go ahead and take a look at these programs. Um, I am running a special offer. For those watching this video, I am going to include a special discount in there for you, um, just because I am thankful that you made it this far in the video. Um, so, um, when purchasing, you could put in the discount code FIT50 and it's going to take some dollars off the program so that you get it for a less expensive price. Um, 
Other than that, yeah. So I hope you all found value in this video. Uh, drop me a comment so you can let me know what you want me to talk about next. Uh, my goal is always to continue helping you all and just to educate you and give you that information. And I'll catch you on the next video.